Dr. Jossie here. For today, we are going to discuss the microscope, its parts and functions of microscope. After going through this video, you are expected to define microscope, state the function of a microscope, identify the various types of microscope, label the parts of the microscope, and describe the function of each part of the microscope. Here are the following parts of the microscope. The eyepiece, coarse adjustment, arm, fine adjustment, base, body tube, revolving nose piece, objective lens, stage, stage clip, diaphragm, and mirror. A microscope comes from the ancient Greek micros meaning small and scope in which means to look is a tool which can help you see tiny objects and living organisms. It makes them look bigger. The science of investigating small objects and structures using such an instrument is called microscopy. What makes a microscope determine how clearly a small object can be viewed? 1. Magnification it describes how much larger an object appears when viewed. The magnification is written on the side of the lens. The value could be 4 times, 10 times, 40 times, or 100 times. To calculate the total magnification of the compound, like microscope, multiply the magnification power of the ocular lens by the power of the objective lens. For example, a 10 times ocular lens and a 40 times objective would have a 400 times total magnification. Second, resolution or resolving power. The capacity of a microscope to distinguish finer details of an image. There are different types of microscopes which differ in their magnification and their resolving power, namely optical microscope uses visible light to form an image. It uses glass lenses to magnify and resolve images. The image that was formed can be viewed from an eyepiece. It has two types, compound, uses two or more double convex lenses to magnify the object. It can magnify object up to 1,200 times. Stereo microscope, also known as dissecting microscope. It magnifies the object 100 times and gives a three-dimensional image. Next, electron microscope uses high energy electron beams to form an image the image that was formed can only be viewed from a photographic plate or from a computer screen the image magnified can reach up to 2 million times transmission electron microscope electron beam passes through an ultra thin sample the image magnified and focused onto an imaging device such as fluorescent screen to be examined in fine detail. Next, scanning electron microscope. Electron beam bounces off from the surface of the sample. Thus, the image provided is three-dimensional. Let's discuss now the parts and function of a microscope. First, eyepiece or ocular lens. This is the part used to look through the microscope. Next, body tube or lens tube is connected with the eyepiece and its main task is to hold it. Revolving nose piece. It holds the objective lenses. It is movable and it can revolve the objective lenses depending on the magnification power of the lens. Arm. This is the part connecting the base and to the head and the eyepiece tube to the base of the microscope. It gives support to the head of the microscope and it is also used when carrying the microscope. Objectives or objective lenses. 
are the major lenses used for specimen visualization. Most schools have light microscope with three objectives and others of four. Usually the shortest one mark three times, four times or five times is called scanner. The lower power objective is marked 10 times or 12 times, while the high power objective is marked 40 times, 43 times, or 60 times. The objectives magnify the object to be observed to a certain size as indicated by the 3 times, 10 times, or 40 times, etc. marks. Stage is the platform that holds the specimen or sample for viewing. Stage clips hold the specimen slides in place. Diaphragm controls the amount of light that passes through the specimen. Course adjustment focuses images under the scanner and the low power objectives. Fine adjustment focuses images under the high power and oil immersion objectives. Light source provides light for the specimen, could be a lamp or a mirror. Base support the microscope. Now let us test how far you've gone with our lesson. forget to click like share and subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos bye